Mozilla Hacks Firefox Reality. So if you hadn't um, heard of it yet, uh, Firefox Reality is our VR, um, it's our VR web browser that we've been working on. And it's going to be really awesome when it's done. I'm excited about this. So um, essentially it's a version of Firefox for virtual reality, meaning you can both view 2D web pages in VR and actually view 3D content, uh, like you know, web VR pages and the new WebXR spec. So um, of course you need an, an, a compatible device. Um, I've been talking a lot about the Oculus Go lately because the Go is um, really awesome. It's uh, it's tiny. It's two hundred dollars. It just works. It's built on an Android Core, um, which means that it was actually not too difficult for us to produce a browser. Now I'm going to say this is still like early alpha days. Um, do not use this for your regular web browsing needs. But if you want to try it out, please definitely do. So you're going to want to go to GitHub.com/slash/MozillaReality/slash/FirefoxReality. This is the GitHub repo. Yes, we are really open source and everything is in the open on GitHub. So I'll click on build results at the bottom of the page. Then choose the only one here, obviously, and then go to run artifacts. And this is produced. Uh, we want Oculus VR signed APK. Let's save that guy. Um, now, if you're messing with um, the Go, at this point you probably have already installed um, the Android debug tools. So let me just pop up the thing here. Let's see, I believe it's ADB. What is that? I'm trying to remember what the command is. ADB devices. List of devices attached. Oh, all right. Let's turn this guy on. See here. Gotta have the Oculus actually be on for that to work. Alright. Boot up. One of the other cool things I didn't realize at first is these little handles like twist up. Which is great, because then I can get this out of the way for when I just pop it on my head back and forth. So super cool. Try that again. There we go. Yeah, okay. Maybe install. Uh, what was that? Firefox reality signed on APK. Actually, I guess we probably want. There we go. And hopefully this will connect and install. Attempt to reinstall without first uninstalling. About oh. uninstall or .mozilla.vr browser. I'm guessing there's probably a single command I can do now. If I was more of an Android developer, I thought I would know, but this should work. All right. Um, next, we need. Visor. So this was the app I installed before. Um, there we are. Let's click View. And in fact, I need to purchase this app so we can uh, be totally legit. Make it super big, please. Hopefully, you can see that. Does it not really let me do full screen? Oh, hopefully you guys can see this. So, let's, um, well that is weird. Oh, there we go. Go away. There we go. Okay, so let's go to home library and my apps. Let's see, is it in my apps? Should be, no, 
And it's going to be, an, I think it's going to be under unknown sources, right? Go a couple pages, blah, 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 chromium, 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 Firefox reality. Whoa, okay. So, now we see it running. Um, we've got, um, below me is this kind of metal space tin thing I'm sitting on. There's a cool space environment out here and here is my browser and this is some of the new UI Chrome we've been working on so we've got a nice little launch page there's our uh, 3D Crow let's click this button and what just happened let's try that again may have crashed like I said this is super early days. Okay, crash reporting is on, privacy policy report an issue, yeah. So we have telemetry turned on and you can easily report an issue right there, which would be awesome. Because I'm sure we're going to have many of those. And this is private mode with a little mask guy. Let's go to like the New York Times and see what happens. Let's see. So we see what's the latest crazy thing our president did. Now you notice it um, treats it like it's a mobile website um, because of the, um, probably because of the screen resolution. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, do we? There we go. And we can resize it. We can make it smaller. We can make it longer. Sweet. And hey, you know, it's VR, so we've got a lot of space to work with. That's cool. Whoops. There we go. Let's go to YouTube Mobile. See what happens. So now it's sort of like we're looking at a giant phone. We could watch some actual trailers, like, uh, what do we have? This looks like bees. Let's see if we can see some bees. Okay, now we have some bees. It's uh, a little bigger. Nice. Resize totally works. that restores it back. So, cool. We, um, what are these two? 3x, 2x, 1x, 0.5x. Yeah. Cool. So, that is Firefox Reality, what we've got so far. Um, if you go to our home page, you can see, um, Video works, obviously. Um, you know what? Let's try out. Here's our keyboard. V R dot. Oops, that was a comma, not a period. Dot. Now, eventually, we'll have a thing where you can like um, sync a tab from your desktops. E A R T H. So you don't have to type on this keyboard, but. Alright, there is my page with some of my demos. Let's click on my Wackinip demo and see if it works. Now, we just started adding immersive mode. Um, so, it may or may not work. Alright, it's loading all of my stuff. Let's click here. And we are now in full VR, albeit a little slowly. There, it's getting a little better. The rest of physics is causing us some headaches. And hey, look, the controller even works. Oh, you know what? Actually, the screen recording is probably slowing it down, now that I think about it. But hey, it works. I'm even getting the audio from my game. Sweet. Alright. Immersive mode is definitely a key component of having a browser in virtual reality. So there you go. That's Firefox VR. Or, excuse me, Firefox Reality for VR. So, close that visor. So that's all you got to do. Um, if you want to test it out yourself, 
we've got it on um, uh, Oculus is the main release, and I think uh, I'm trying to remember what Wave is. I think that's the the Firefox, uh, the uh, Focus, HTC Focus, which is their standalone, and then there's a few other on just testing devices. So that is all you need to do to check out Firefox Reality, and there you go. Um, like I said, it's super buggy and early, so um, please try it out and file issues. We are actively working on this. we got a whole team of guys who are doing great, awesome work.